Great River Road, Route 3 in uh, Illinois. And um, we're trying to uh, follow the path that my grandpa took of a couple videos in 1990 and 1987. And this is the first thing we come across. It says Confluence Tower. So the confluence of the Mississippi River and the Missouri River are um, right here, I guess, on the other side of that hill somewhere. We uh, visited that earlier this year. You can go watch that video. But apparently you can pay $10 between the hours of 10.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. and go up this tower to get a cool view of it. I bet you that's an amazing view. Look how tall that is. We turned left onto Highway 143 going north towards Alton and this is the first place uh, in one of the videos my grandpa mentioned. There's the uh, National Great Rivers Museum but he mentions the uh, Lock and Dam, Melvin Price Lock and Dam Rivers Project. So we're gonna scoot in here. That's hard to read. U.S. Congressman Jerry Costello, we've heard of him. National Great River Research Education Center, Lewis and Clark Community College. So we're continuing. So that's the Mississippi River and the Lock and Dam. I see a whole lot of birds right there. It's a cloudy day. So this is the museum and I think we're here a little too early in the morning. It's supposed to rain later so we are beating the rain. There it says the Melvin Price Lock and Dam. So it was almost 60 degrees when we left the house this morning at 6 a.m. and now it's almost 9 a.m. and it's almost 40 degrees. So we've gone down 15 to 18 degrees, something like that. That's looking down the Mississippi, so this place is not open yet. Welcome to Alton and we're getting ready to go on Highway 100. Some quaint little shops there. This is pretty cool. This is um, the meeting of the rivers road because back there the Missouri and the Mississippi meet and um, further up here we have the Illinois River that also comes in. This is super cool stuff. stop here and see what this is. So this is Piazza Park and got some beautiful color right there. But they have a Piazza bird painted on the rock and I'm not sure what the legend of the Piazza bird is. I was hoping to read about it. Not sure if there's anything here. There's a cave. 
Okay, so we do have a sign. The legend of the Piazza in 1673, Jacques Marquette reported that he and a fellow French explorer, Louis Joliet, discovered a painting of what was probably two water monsters, two water monsters on the bluffs of the Mississippi River. Bluffs. <laughs> Near present day Alton. We just passed it. <laughs> By 1700, those um, pictograph creatures were no longer visible. In 1836, the novelist John Russell described an image cut into the bluff of a legendary dragon-like creature with wings. It's raining! According to Russell, the, creatures, the creature was called Piazza and the bird that devours men. Oh my gosh, a bird that devours men. That would be big. That version of the pictograph as well as myths about the Piazza have become prominent folklore. <laughs> we found a, a bit of shelter. It's just spitting rain. Across the street is a barge going down the Mississippi River. And you can't really go up in here anymore. This is kind of cool though. Danger, keep out sinkholes, falling rock, and other hazards. By order of the chief of police, violators will be prosecuted. So I'm gonna stick my phone up to a hole and do that, or wait, I can go over the fence. Whoa. And there we have it, complete with a bit of fall. And there we have it. This is what a water monster that devours you looks like. He uh, looks kind of uh, toothy and horny. Like he has horns and he's got a beard. Ooh, look at those claws. They would get you. <laughs> now, Grandpa and Mary took a video of this entire trip, I think, and I'm just going to do bits. We came this last weekend in October. It says Godfrey. We came this uh, last week in October because this is supposed to be a gorgeous um, autumn uh, trip, but the weather is threatening to rain. And so since the sun's not out, the colors aren't vibrant, but I see a lot of color. There's a bike trail on the right and the Mississippi River. When we came up here, we didn't do a video um, and the sun was shining. The Mississippi River was just so gorgeous. This ride was so fantastic that day. What a difference the sky makes. I see over in the distance the smokestacks that Grandpa talked about in his uh, video. There's a bit of color. I saw some really bright, beautiful orange colors, but they're hard to get. There's a barge coming down the river. It's hard to see. That's kind of cool with the smokestack and barge. Oh, it's going up river. I had said it's going down river. That's the uh, Mississippi River. And this is a wonderful little park. Look at this. Those are huge bluffs. What do you think the significance of the rock? <laughs> I guess this is just a big piece of rock, maybe, that fell off the bluffs. I mean, I can see people sitting on it for photos. <laughs> oh, here. The village of Godfrey dedicates this park to its first mayor. The circle of life teaches us we are all children of the earth. 
May we leave the earth a better place than it was left for us. So this is the circle of life that we just went around. And this talks about Godfrey, the city. And this glorious spectacle. And this is about the circle of life. In the Native American tradition, the circle of life is a symbol reminding us to respect our land and its entire people. It is a symbol that represents the never-ending presence of elder intelligence. They're saying that describes the man they dedicated it to. And there is, I'm assuming, the circle of life there. And once again, may the world we leave be a better one than what was left for us. I think we all want that. We all want that for our children. The circle of life teaches us we are all children of the earth. And there's more about the circle of life. This is kind of interesting. St. Louis limestone, zero to 75 feet. Salem limestone zero to 90 feet and it gives you this graph so I guess in here you should be able to tell the difference but I can't see there is some color it's just not vibrant because of the conditions That's a super cool shot with the barge and the energy center. I forgot the name of it. It's called uh, Sioux Energy Center now. I'm not sure what it was called back then. Yeah, there's a bit of nice color. boat access area so we turned down it and they got a bathroom that's cool it says piazza creek illinois as you put your boats in the creek and then go the, to the left out to the river wow it even encourages kayaking or canoeing sunny out it show up so much better but there is some really nice color look at that yeah I agree this is like the best stretch of road so much color here beautiful we're right across from Portage to Sioux over there is Portage to Sioux, where the blessing of the boats happen. And I think I see the statue right there. See it? <laughs> yeah, I think that's the bluff that Grandpa mentioned, where he said, Principia College is up there on that bluff, but I think it's up here in the city. Gorgeousness, gorgeous color. I'm just eating okay, this right up. Here. 
right above us now is the college. Is the college. <laughs> I don't know why he knows that or knew that. <laughs> why he mentioned it. <laughs> you cannot see it from the road. <laughs> but it's up there. It's like I want to go find it. Yep. Oh, beautiful trees. Check it out. Decided to go check out Elsa. It says Historic Loop Shops, Art Lodging, and Wetland Trail. And the college is up here, so maybe they had stopped to uh, check this out, and that's how they knew that. This is really a quaint little town. I've missed recording a bunch of it. There's an outline of the town right there on this side. Yeah, this is so cool. The Green Tree Inn we just passed. It says... To the rough. Trees, Shops, Art, Fountain Park, Wetland Trail. It says the Principia College is to the right as well. Ooh, this is a nice autumn drive. Look at that. That is beautiful. Very gorgeous. I'm glad we turned down this way.
look at that leverage and color. <laughs> he turned the camera back on because he missed some gorgeous colors. <laughs> I did. I did an epic fail. <laughs> There were two trees next to each other that was just like, oh, wow. They were like lit up. <laughs> yeah. I had left my post. Okay, it says Grafton. We've reached Grafton. There's yeah. a visitor center. This tree center, half mile, it says. Yes. There's a raging river water park to our right. Oh, you know you want that. But look at the foliage. Yeah, and the color. Oh, my. Is Lance. the bomb. I know. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. This bike trail's gone this entire way. There's the history museum. Yes. Yes, and the bike trail has gone the entire way. Yeah, which is this, cool. Which is very cool. All right, we are in. Downtown Graft. We were here earlier this summer, so we're not gonna. We ate at the loading dock. There's yes. another video of that. And we took the ferry here, and uh, we are not going to take the ferry here. We're gonna go on up and take the Brussels ferry. Uh -huh. This is such a quaint town. It is. the river. Yeah, so here's the uh, Grafton Ferry where the big flag is. Yes. And you can take this and it goes on over to Illinois. I mean to St. Charles. <laughs> and we did that earlier this summer. So you can go watch that video. Okay, we're at Pier Marquette State Park. We made it to the lodge and we <laughs> past the ferry that's where we're going to go back and go to the ferry and we inadvertently went in here drove by all the camping areas all the cabins the lodge and we came in right here and we're at this building so there's the Illinois River which is right there and we're gonna take scenic drive all the way up to this parking lot and then we are going to go up to see the overlooks. He said that's about a half mile. Um, can't do much on my foot. And then we're gonna continue down and there's a bunch of overlooks and things on Scenic Drive. We're gonna come back down and take the ferry. On our little jaunt, we came in that way. On our little uh, jaunt, gorgeous trees. We didn't film any of it. And the lodge was very nice looking. Campsites were nice, but full. Nice. If that isn't fall, <laughs> y'all, I don't know what is. <laughs> fall, y'all. Definitely fall, y'all. Wow. I'm happy we went ahead and braved coming, even though it's supposed to rain in about four hours. We're going to have to drive back in the rain. This is gorgeous. Did not bring my big camera, unfortunately. so happy to see all this autumn. <laughs> I am super happy. I'm sorry if this is a long video, but it's all worth it. 
Whoa! <laughs> the color it says Eagle Roost Scenic Overlook. I gotta look at my map again. Nobody else seems to know where we're at. So I think we missed a parking lot. We're gonna go back. But this is the Eagle's Roost Overlook. So we're gonna check it out. Whoa! This is pretty amazing. Look at that. I'm going to have to zoom in so y'all can see. Whoa. Pretty amazing. Isn't it? What a view. I guess that's the Illinois River. You see that color. This is a perfect, perfect weekend. We're gonna walk this just a little bit. It goes back down to the road we drove up in. Gorgeousness. <laughs> so beautiful. Okay, we did drive back and find this parking lot I think or maybe even another one but it's a, a real trail which I love but um, I think it's gonna be he said only a half mile but for my bum foot too much right there's one of the trails I actually could see a stop sign down in it and from that we're going to go around this bend actually right here this is a trail that he said it's blocked off because vehicles could go in it. So I think this is where he suggested we hike. Oh, and it says you are here. Yep, this is where. And you can go out to here. It's about a half mile. Hubby does not want to go, so going to do what it seems like everybody else at the park is doing. So right here around the bend is the Eagle's Roost where we were just at. There were no cars in the parking lot almost when we left and uh, now there's a ton of cars. People are all taking photos of this shot. Flagpool Scenic Overlook. We'll stop here. Look at these Fun steps. Cool, cool. Here we go. Where's the flagpole? <laughs> that tree right there is gorgeous. Straight ahead. Yeah. Well. I don't see a flagpole. The former spot of a flagpole. That's the view. The other view was better. Wait, I'm gonna take a picture of the girlfriends. Yeah. Hi, girlfriends. You're so cute. Mama loves. Thank you, dear. I just love the color. Yeah, this is uh, steps down the other side to, um, you can walk the other parking lot we were at for the rooster one is there and you can walk up here. <laughs> Look at the fall autumn, I'm so excited. <laughs> There it is, there's the flagpole. That's the hole for the flagpole. Scenic overlook on which side? On my side over here on the right. On the right side is what we're looking. It doesn't have a name, yes, just right. a pair of binoculars. I think it's where this truck is. Gorgeous view. Check it out.
Look at that. Some gorgeous, gorgeous views. Forget what all this red is. I'm thinking it's sassafras. Look at it all throughout. And it goes the other way too. I bet ya. This is a great view. Let me see if I can line it up a little bit different. Beautiful, huh? We're off to Lover's Sleep. There was a pull off, but you couldn't see anything. So we're continuing on down this gorgeous scenic drive on Scenic Drive. That's the name of the road. Absolutely beautiful. There's another pull-off parking. I don't know. I guess that's um, maybe for that trail we saw back there. This says Lover's Leap. Lover's Leap Overlook. We gotta turn to the right. Whoa, the color. There isn't much here. I don't quite know what this is. There's a trail that comes off of here somewhere. Hmm. I guess maybe you can see something in the distance. Just gorgeous colors. And that's the way we're gonna go out. So we came down this way. This is the map on the other side to Army Road and to Graham Road. We're gonna go back here to Brussels Ferry, but we're right now, at, I think, at Pier Marquette Cross. You ready? Gotta just walk down this short trail to right there. I uh, see the cross, it's right there. Faith and uncharted lands. These are some steep steps. And we hear a barge. There's the uh, Illinois River. There it is. Let's go see if it, there's an inscription on the other side. You can actually go down the steps that way, too. There's a walking trail. Gorgeousness. So I like how it has one, two, three steps. Yes. Because you've seen that before in pictures and things of crosses. So I'm not sure what kind of cross this is. Yeah, it could be that, the Trinity. So we came up those steps and uh, got a bluff view here. Here's my famous feet shot. 
<laughs> hey, let me get a little closer. Oh, I got a doggy face. Get back in, doggy face. Oh, two doggy face. <laughs> How funny. I hope there's nothing poisonous there. Here we go. Mama's foot shot. Sneaking around to the front. Whew. The highway view. Another highway view. Oh, there, that's a cool shot. Except for I wish I could get all of the, uh... there, got all of the steps. That's awesomeness. This way with the foliage. Beautiful. I am really trusting this fence not to fall down. Here's the painted monsters again. And some, you can pause the video and read um, about uh, the Menomini Indians painted them as a warning about horrible monsters which devoured men in canoes. So Marquette and Joliet neared the area and saw the painting. And there's what it says in their journal. And then it says, um, most people have come to know, know the legendary figures as the Piazza bird, but the creatures in Father Marquette's versions do not have wings. I don't see any wings. We are on the Brussels Ferry. Oh, we are already starting to move. Woo. Oh my goodness, look at what it's doing. <laughs> the Liberty Bell. truck. I'm going to walk on down because I can. I think this is going to be a short trip. We had to wait for that to go by. And we are headed over there. I have a feeling this is a quick trip. And he said it was free. There's the truck. Whoa! I had to get the other way. There's the barge. We waited for it to get out of the way. There's where we came from. And where we're going to, and we're almost there. I'm gonna to have to get back in the car. This is a quick trip on the Brussels Ferry. How fun is this? Okay, here we go. Getting off the Illinois River. <laughs> cars waiting to get on to go the other way. That's crazy. So Brussels is 8 miles, Harden is in 19 miles. We have no idea where we're going. I have to stop somewhere down the road. We just rode a ferry to we have no idea where. We're on an island between here and the Golden Eagle Ferry. That's where we're headed. We're going ferry to ferry. Yeah. Bye-bye. We've made it to the Golden Eagle Ferry. This one is privately owned, so I think it's going to cost us. The other one was free. 
It was a gorgeous drive uh, across, I don't know what you call this little area between two rivers. <laughs> it's not a peninsula, it's a, I don't know. It's, it's, it's land, I don't know. Yeah. Huh? So the ferry's going across there. Yeah. There it is, going across. We're gonna have to wait for it to come back. I think maybe that used to be a restaurant. I don't know. I actually think, because of that sign there, that this up here used to be a restaurant that's now closed. We are now on the Golden Eagle Ferry. <laughs> We're moving already. Look at it turn. The Golden Eagle. Very cool. This is the Mississippi River. We looked it up. And we are going over there. like downtown. <laughs> I right. guess we'll uh, follow the cars to know where to go for right now. <laughs> there you go. Let the mystery begin. There's 